A very warm welcome to you out there for joining us in this special edition of the program, AIT Infotech Network. And I am Bayero Agabi. For details, you can log on to AITinfotechnetwork.com or better still, you watch us live on Sabah Africa TV. That is on YouTube. You're welcome. Nigeria, with a population of over 160 million people, is a very attractive market for manufacturers in electronics, automobile, fast-moving consumer goods, and ICT. As the country's inability to manufacture most of the things it consumes presents manufacturers from across the world a huge opportunity. The 2013 E-Nigeria Conference is local content in ICT development in Nigeria, the journey so far. And indeed, it has been a journey since e Nigeria 2012, where two of the major recommendations in the communique released after e Nigeria 2012 were, and I paraphrase, necessary to focus on achieving the vision of local content and key performance indicators be set and evaluated until 50% local content is achieved in the sector. And secondly, necessary to commence the development of a concise ICT local content policy in collaboration with stakeholders. With the presentation of the guidelines on Nigeria content development in ICT today, I think that we have reached a significant milestone in the journey to the target of 50% local content. But there's still clearly a lot of work to be done and a lot of work ahead of us as an industry. These guidelines are expected to level the playing field to facilitate the movement of many of our local ICT companies from the fringes of the market to be larger and more strategic companies, while at the same time enlarging the pie so that we keep our viable international partners interested and engaged in investing in the local industry. In the ICT industry, Nigeria is said to be a strategic market for mobile phone makers, hardware and software manufacturers, and even IT skills. Um, as IBM Chief Technology Officer and Vice President uh, for Africa, there's no nation that's more strategic, no country that's more important, that's more of a priority for us than Nigeria. And this is for obvious reasons. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria spends average of about 1.2 trillion naira annually on the importation of ICT goods, with major country sources being India, Europe and America. According to 2012 World Bank report, Nigeria's ICT goods imports, which was last recorded in 2010, showed some consistency in the amount expended since 2006, with 2008 recording all-time high of 9.49 billion US dollars. Software importation alone is put at about 1 billion US dollars. In spite of all this digital challenge, change, global changes, and hundreds of billions of naira spent on IT in Nigeria. How many IT global brands have been grown out of the country? How much of the IT products or services that we consume, we produce locally? What is our collective response to the matters of capital flags flagging the first growing IT industry? How much of content have we uploaded into the internet? Most likely, uh, we are more familiar with downloading than the world upload. In order to address the aforementioned issues and others like them, at the 2012 edition of the conference, among other things, it was resolved that the next five editions of eNigeria should focus on the development of Nigerian content in the IT industry. Hence, the theme for this year's conference, local content in ICT development, in Nigeria, the journey so far. As we are aware, in order to take any meaningful step forward, we need to review where we are coming from and where we are today. This points to the fact that local content is grossly lacking in the Nigerian ICT sector and has been attracting the attention of government at all levels. In 2012, the National Information Technology Development Agency, NIDA, rose from the 2012 edition of its flagship conference, eNigeria, with a resolve to consistently focus on local content development in ICT for five years. Uh, moving from there to Nigerian content in the industry, I began to be challenged as 
we discussed these issues of how ICT could really help us leapfrog development. And I, I was asked to be chairman of Nigeria's National Manpower Board. Um, and it was clear to me that the role Nigeria's National Manpower Board needed to play, and I, I raise this here because I hope the Honorable Minister can collaborate with the Manpower Board to help deal with the education agenda, the place of ICT in making productivity rise in our environment. I, I said to the National Manpower Board that they really have one business, how to ensure that Nigeria's public sector was e savvy and in being e savvy collaborate with the private sector to create the basis for this defrogging of development. I also said to them that if we are going to get far, the nature of the policies of admissions into Nigeria and higher institutions needed to change. I know that it is in the general uh, uh, references that science and technology should be 68 percent of the admissions and all of that, but we're not leaving there. We're going to learn a thing or two from the Singapore, who probably have gone too far. Look, this is what will get Nigeria where it's going. If you don't study it, don't go to school. And continuing in this resolve, this year's conference was tagged Local Content Development in ICT, the journey so far, held in Abuja at the Mursayara Dua Center, with about 420 delegates drawn from across the public and private sectors, civil society groups, students, the academia and the media. Vice President Architect Nama Disambo was there. It is imperative to highlight here that as part of the federal government resolve, to address the issue of unemployment and other salient issues militating against the steady growth of the economy, President Goodluck, Ibele Jonathan Giseppa, led the initiative by signing into law the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Contact Development Act in April 2010. Today, the Nigerian Contact Development Management Board is issuing information and communication technology guidelines to the operators in the Nigerian oil and gas sector, which will definitely create an opportunity for the much needed synergy for building an information economy for Nigeria. You will all agree with me that no country can play at the global level in the current world without an effective and efficient application of information of communication technology. That is the show for now. For more details, please log on to www.youtube.com slash TV for more details or simply text us your comment. Until next week, I remain yours sincerely. Bye, Agabi. Bye-bye.